Yeah, and I might add just from a corporation perspective. So for AT&T, I'm not convinced we're going to go to a freelance uh, economy. I'll say a couple of things. Um, my, my background originally was in consulting before I joined AT&T. There are pros and cons to both. I think from an AT&T perspective, we are focused on really creating, um, if you will, not cliche, but a family, right? There are a lot of benefits that I see working with a, for a big corporation. You get the education, right? You get the training. We pay for master's degree, for undergraduate degrees. You get the community. You get the collaboration. You get the face-to-face -face, uh, interaction. And I will say AT&T has done a great job of understanding how to support women in the workforce. So I'm one of the, you know, only I'm leading the technology and network organization, right? Do I look like I grew up in technology? Probably not. But I run the, one of the largest networks um, in the world, and I can do that. Why? Because my mentors and sponsors have been very supportive because they've given me flexibility. I have two kids um, at home. And here's the other thing. I have 30% of the people in my organization, I mean, we build networks. We put up cell towers that are women. So I'm just going to challenge us a little bit to say, absolutely, we are not anywhere we need to be from a female perspective. I think we all kind of look behind our backs, you know, every day about what's going to happen next and do we think we're going to succeed. But we have to be accountable and responsible for opening the doors and pulling other women in front of us and behind us, right? It's one hand forward, it's one hand back.